Hello, my friends. Uh, do you, Dave? I guess, uh, you know, welcome. So um, I am here to talk about uh, diaspora Irish. So uh, DI for short, this is a new group or organization, which um, myself and a colleague of mine um, from my political party, Gaelic Awakening, we have started basically to try to help uh, the Irish diaspora around the world get involved in Irish politics. So um, basically through uh, finance, through offering, you know, money to help, you know, uh, candidates, political parties or candidates uh, through raising awareness or, you know, kind of education, you know, um, through social media or through whatever, uh, through emails, um, through solidarity or encouragement, you know, kind of be like, hold in there, don't go crazy. It's okay. You know, um, and through advocacy. So through, you know, sending emails, social media posts, talking to people like, you know, especially people in government, these kind of four ways, the Irish diaspora, although you can't vote, right? Like I was of the diaspora and now I'm in Ireland. I, I'm settled here. I'm staying here. Um, but uh, so there's 3 million Irish citizens outside of Ireland. Ireland's a mess and the government have kind of, you know, like... Uh, if we want to be generous, we would say, you know, they're stuck in a, a kind of toxic ideology or they just, you know, can't see the, the forest for the for the trees. Um, but uh, or else, there's, you know, you could make more arguments that there's something more manipulative and intentional going on. But whatever, you know, it's not good. Ireland's uh, we free speech is under attack. You know, uh, sovereignty is under attack. And Irish heritage is under attack where there's this attempt to radically change Ireland, where it's like, you know, I love people everywhere. Like, I think the world is amazing. I want to, if I can, I want to travel the whole world. And, you know, I think we're all human beings. However, I don't want everyone in my house, no matter how beautiful you are, you know? And even if you're homeless, I don't know where you've been. I don't know if I can trust you. I can't, I don't know if you're safe to be with my kids, you know? So letting everyone into your country, even if they are in need, they're refugees. We need to be very careful with how we do that, you know, and there have to be limits. And currently the situation's way out of balance, as many people know. So Irish people, you can't vote to help Ireland, but you can, um, if you're in the diaspora, if you're in Australia or New America or whatever, but um, you can join uh, Diaspora Irish. I'm gonna show you the website in a moment. Um, and you can, there are basically, you'll be able to donate to people who are trying to get elected in Ireland to make a, a difference um so that pay for leaflets or posters or you know um the deposits to get you know um people uh um uh, officially registered for election or whatever this kind of stuff um you can also be you know contacting the government putting pressure on them through advocacy we, we have some templates you can download and to make that easier for you um and then solidarity encouragement with other people so like trying to because the big thing it's not just knowing what to do but just having the stamina to just can keep going with all this madness all around us, you know? So, um, and uh, then uh, awareness or education, you know, talking to people, persuading them, um, or just uh, even people who, you know, they, they know something's wrong, but helping them see exactly what the solution is or um, helping them, you know, think of good ways to phrase things or strategy. Like, yeah, maybe this kind of way of saying it isn't really the best because you're going to alienate these many people, whatever. All of that, you can be engaged from abroad and really helping because we've got an election coming up probably late this year, maybe um, early next year at the very latest. So so let's look at that side, yeah? Right, so uh, Diaspora Irish, Defending Ireland. So join the movement to protect Irish heritage, freedom and sovereignty. So, you know, we're not far right. It's, uh, you know, I'd say... If anyone's far right, it'd be the government parties, you know, corporate uh, collusion with the state and kind of demonizing anyone who disagrees with you. That sounds kind of right wing to me. Um, I would say this is a center centrist movement, a movement of balance. If, you know, the left right spectrum has any importance anymore, but um, but whatever you could, you know, call it what you want. But it's a movement to protect the culture and say, yeah, you know, people from uh, other cultures can for sure contribute amazing things to Ireland. Just that, you know, people are beautiful and talented all around the place. And that, however, there's a limit to it, right? Like Ireland has a certain way of life and it's worth 
preserving. It's beautiful, you know? And um, so, yeah. And not to mention, you know, the, the language, like 1% of the people speak Gaelic, you know? So to get, you know, that growing, you know, you, you've got to have a some kind of limit on immigration there. Um, and so if you want to get into the the thing of the, the, the issues that you can look, click here, there's a link over to the other page about, you know, free speech, fair borders, full sovereignty, which is, um, this is a separate thing. This is just, um, you can go here as another movement I've kind of like uh, tried to set up here to get other people uh, to rally around and say, yeah, I, I support free speech, fair borders, full sovereignty. And so you, you will find their names listed here. So far, it's only me, um, but uh, check back here. And there should be, it's an easy way for people to advertise themselves to voters. So this should be hopefully a resource for people to find people with the right principles. And so Diaspora Irish is basically based around that, you know, to just defending, no, it's um, pretty simple kind of uh, position. It's just defending these common sense things. So you can become a member. Uh, the Diaspora Irish cannot vote in Ireland, but you can play a game changing role in the coming Irish election. So as I've mentioned, um, so that you can see here a little summary of like why, what's needed, um, the history of the diaspora, um, the other side, like what, you know, people who would disagree with me, what I'm trying to say, I see what their point of view is. And this is my response to that. So you could see this, it could be useful for you also in communicating with family members or friends or strangers. Tell me more, a little bit more about, you know, the kind of situation we're facing in Ireland, if you're interested in a deeper dive. Um, at the bottom here, all hands on deck, basically saying like this, look, me and my colleague in Australia who um, who reached out to me and we, through that, we kind of came to the, the idea of Diaspora Irish creating this. Um, uh, you know, of course, um, we would like you to vote for, uh, support me, become a member of Gaelic Awakening. It's free and uh, we need 300 members and then we'll be officially registered. Um, if not, I'll run as an independent. Uh, I'm very keen. If anyone's interested in running and joining, please contact me. That'd be great. We can have you running in. I'm in Dublin Bay North, but but um, none. But there's many, many people who are rising who have got the right principles. And so it's not about any one party. So um, this page, which we have set up, um, it mentions Gaelic Awakening here. You can go to the Gaelic Awakening website, blah, 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 join up. Um, however, uh, it also links to and it will when people um reach out and make the triple f vow like yep i'm on board we're going to have a list of every party and candidate who will support you know free speech fair borders full sovereignty so because it's it's all all hands on deck right we all whoever just get someone elected who will stand by these things that's all that matters um so you could see you'll be able to click here patriotic people and parties currently it's only gaelic awakening and you've got our details there. You can donate, visit the website. So if you have a political party um, or if you're an independent candidate, um, please reach out. I'll put your details here. It'll be good advertising. People can uh, find you. Um, and uh, what else? So you can become a member, right? And it's free. Uh, so you where, where do you live? What's your residence? Country of residence? Um, your name? Email. That's that easy. Um, and you can donate, as I say, donate to the parties, um, who are standing for, you know, Irish, uh, the rights of Ireland. Um, and we also have templates. So be an advocate for the rights of the Irish people. So we have finance, we have, uh, council or, you know, education, awareness raising, we have encouragement and solidarity. Then we have advocacy reaching out. And so we want to make it easy for people to do this. So basically download a template. It's like a word document. Yeah. Um, insert your name. So, you know, like uh, sincerely da, 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 da. Um, and uh, maybe the, the dear sir or madam, you might change to dear Mr. Blah, blah, or whatever and send your letter or email for Ireland. Right. So um, you can just download them and edit them. So for example, um, if we go here and uh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll spare you, but you can just uh, edit it. And the more you edit it, the better it'll be, the more um, natural it'll feel. And in some cases, if they're getting, you know, dozens of the same kind of letter, it, of course it makes an impact, but it has more impact if it's more individualized. But at, at a minimum, if you're very busy, just download this, put your name on it and send it to some of these folks, the list of politicians, the civil service people, um, 
journalists. So if you can, if you're looking for something to do um, and say you don't have the finance or you've already contributed, thank you very much. Um, then you, this is an invitation to other people to join Diaspora Irish. And this here is a template for a, a call to defend free speech, fair borders and full sovereignty, basically heritage, the freedom and the sovereignty of Ireland. So that's basically it. Um, so this is, yeah, it's a, you know, an organization for like-minded people who care about this country and want to, and, you know, and care about just justice in general. And um, I think many countries in Europe, especially, are facing this problem where um, there's kind of an imbalance where it's like, oh, you don't hate, like you, you either want mass immigration, a complete change of the culture, often putting the local people under great stress financially, like in Ireland, it's a huge housing crisis, for example. Um, you're either totally in favor of that or you're a racist and you hate people. And so we're trying to create like some space to say, look, enough of the de demonizing and the rhetoric and like, you can be a reasonable, you know, person and just through common sense, you know, there's limits every, there's too much of a good thing, right? And so Ireland in this election, it's very important that we change the balance of power and we get whoever they are, get them uh, voted in um, uh, because of the current major parties, the government parties and the so-called opposition, they're all on board. They've all drunk the Kool-Aid, you know, they're all like, uh, seemingly part of some crazy ideology where like they want open borders they want to get rid of free speech and say or if you say something hateful they can put you in jail for six years which is the bill they're tr literally trying to put through at the moment so that's it um so and so this is diaspora irish please become a member if you do go over to the triple f uh page um Please, uh, if you know, if you are running for office or if you know someone running for office or just, you know, all the people in your area running for office, please contact them and get them to come here. They can, they can either email um, uh, contact at diaspora Irish, sorry, contact at uh, triple F dot Irish for this contact at diaspora Irish uh, dot com would be for the, um, if you want to contact us about diaspora Irish, but yeah, so you can either email uh, here or you can um, and say yeah I, I stand by these things or you can just make the vow here boom um, you and in this case you can put your links you can say which constituency you're in etc and we will list you here so people can find you and say this is someone who's standing for the right principles so that's it a little bit about triple f but mostly I want to talk about yeah diaspora Irish and um, I think this is a beautiful opportunity to bring the global diaspora together and uh, ironically, in a, a time where cult, there's a of cultural fragmentation in Ireland, where all these people coming in, some of the, you know, let's say most of them, you know, just like good people doing the thing, but, you know, a, a few, of course, many, um, but I'd say a minority, but uh, I think, <laughs> um, but there are troublemakers and people, you know, causing, you know, crime and all kinds of bad things, but, but you know, mostly just, just normal people, but you know, Ireland, it's like you you wouldn't let everyone in your home. You wouldn't let everyone in your country. There needs to be a balance. And so Ireland has an opportunity uh, to find balance here and also to kind of be a model for other countries to say, you can have the open-hearted generosity of the Irish that we're famed for um, and yet be able to set a limit and say, you know, this is where we take care of our own people and we will help. We'll, the money we're putting currently is spending on all this, you know, mass immigration stuff in Ireland. We can use that to help countries around the world, you know, get rid of their corruption, et cetera. And so it's a better place to live and people want to stay there. Most people don't even want to emigrate. It's just because their country is so messed up. Um, so, and then on top of this icing on the cake, this can be an opportunity for our, the Irish culture amid this fragmentation to kind of come together um, and around the whole world, you know. So, um, uh, uh, Ella Agum Ora. So uh, nothing else to say. So um, God bless you. Thank you. And see you later.